All right, folks, uh, tonight at about uh, 5.44, officers working the uh, foot post at the corner of Clinton and Main Street observed a crowd walking down Main Street. Apparently it was an anti-war protest that was occurring today on the anniversary of Afghanistan. Uh, the officer tried to stop the crowd as a fire truck was coming across Clinton Avenue. Uh, the crowd uh, refused to stop. And In addition to that, the uh, crowd was also blocking two lanes of traffic. That would be both westbound lanes of traffic on Main Street. Uh, a totality of approximately 40 officers responded to the scene. Uh, about eight supervisors responded, including myself. Uh, and right now we have 11 people in custody. There was 11 arrests made. Uh, the rest were made for unlawful assembly. That's a B misdemeanor in New York State for uh, gathering with four or more people and acting in a tumultuous behavior. In addition to that, uh, one person was charged with obstructing government administration for hitting a police officer with a drum. And uh, there are four resisting arrest charges. Those are including the, uh, the 11. So the 11 unlawful assembly have four resisting arrests. How often do you have these situations where you have uh, you know, a group this size? We have them, we have them uh, over the, the last few years, we've had quite a few, as a matter of fact, leaving the Liberty Pole and going down the Main Street uh, to the to the State Street area for the federal building. Uh, our job is usually just to control the traffic, make sure no one's in the road, keep those sidewalks open, and keep the flow of traffic going. Uh, tonight that didn't occur, so it was it was different. The crowd was a little bit different than usual. Uh, but our job is to let them assemble and let them move, but uh, once they start taking over streets and then pushing on police officers who are trying to block traffic for a fire truck, uh, that's when I stepped over to the boundaries. Do you know what, getting, what kind of policies you followed, uh, what procedures you followed, to, what kind of warnings you may have given to the crowd? Uh, because there, I was, there, there is some conflict here in what you're saying. Uh, people I just spoke to said to me that, it seemed the appearance at least, was that there was no warning and, and police officers immediately uh, showed up and started pouncing on some of, the, pouncing on some of these uh, protesters. So can you go over what, what was Sure. The, what the officer on the corner was uh, simply directing traffic. There was a fire truck coming northbound on Clinton Avenue, crossing Main Street. It was on a lights and siren run. Uh, the crowd was not stopping for that fire truck, nor stopping or listening to the officer's commands. The officer was physically trying to hold the crowd back. Uh, at that time, it, it becomes an unlawful assembly. When the crowd starts to come out of control, our job is to make sure the streets stay open and it, it stays under control. Uh, folks have a a right to protest, whether they had a permit or not, I'm not sure at this time, but they do have a right to protest. We, we obviously honor, honor that protest, right? Uh, but once it starts to become out of control, when traffic's being blocked, when other people's rights are being infringed upon, uh, when they're going to block uh, a fire truck from going down the street, that's when the officer made the decision that uh, he had to stop the intersection and control the intersection. Just one officer? Initially, it was one officer that uh, was controlling that intersection, uh, was trying to control it. Why do you think it escalated to a physical I have absolutely no idea why that's related to a physical confrontation. Uh, the officers in control of the intersection, whether the crowd has a, a right to assemble, is not in question. But uh, once they start interfering with the flow of traffic and interfering with the fire truck, it becomes a law enforcement matter at that time, and the officers are going to take control of the intersection. Do you think there's a way to keep people safe to do crowd dispersal without um, beating people on the sidewalk? Because I noticed a lot of sidewalk arrests and brutalities happening from the sidewalk where people weren't given a chance mm -hmm. to disperse and were brutalized there by your police officers. Ma'am, I'm not going to comment on the brutalization. I did have three officers, uh, or four officers, trying to arrest people, and I know that four subjects were resisting arrest uh, with the result that those are lawful arrests for unlawful assembly. Uh, so we did have 11 people arrested for unlawful assembly. I know four of them resisted that arrest, that lawful arrest, uh, including being hit with signs and being hit over the head with drums. Can you comment on someone being hospitalized tonight? Uh, yes, one person was transported uh, to the hospital, and uh, the exact hospital I don't know at this time. Do you know his injuries? I was told it was a laceration type injury, uh, and they were going to be treated at the hospital, so I don't have the name or who that is right now. Do you think there's a, a different way you could handle this? In the future, as or far as a strategy, it doesn't seem like there was a strategy or prepared, like ahead of time plan on the part of the police department here in Rochester. Well, there, 
there was no assembly as far as we knew as far as when the assembly was going to occur. The officer was totally surprised by the crowd of over 100 people coming towards his intersection. So the pre planning was not there because we weren't aware of the unlawful assembly. So it's kind of difficult to plan for something we don't know about. So at what point does it become unlawful? The fact that they, if they yeah. had stayed on the sidewalk, would that have Absolutely. They, and they obey the officer's commands to hold at the intersection while the fire truck's coming through to stay and not block vehicle traffic. The pedestrians walking down the sidewalk also have rights. Uh, the vehicular traffic also has rights to go up and down the street. So once they start blocking other people's rights, law enforcement is stuck in the middle with it between that. And so it's the rights of the people to assemble, and it's also the rights of the public that are trying to move to and fro, and it's also the rights of the, or excuse me, the fire truck is trying to get to an emergency call. Uh, at that time, we're, we're going to have to step in. Uh, one last question. People yes, said that they were getting arrested for swearing, and someone said this is bullshit, and someone else said this is racist because the first person to be arrested was a young African American um, youth, and then she was arrested, and someone else was arrested. Can you comment on people being arrested on the sidewalk for swearing? No, ma'am, I wouldn't have any knowledge of that. The, the, the 11 people that were arrested were arrested for unlawful assembly. Uh, 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 he's arrested. A nonviolent. He's arrested for swearing in the public swearing. Swearing. Uh, that's when you're gathering around and going back to your earlier question, four or more people gathering in a public place and activity is tumultuous. Tumultuous activity be taking over streets, hitting people, police officers with drums, blocking vehicular traffic, which includes a fire truck going down Clinton Avenue. So that would be the tumultuous behavior with four or more people.